And I have this kind of rule of thumb. For every red flag, you raise your fee by 10%. We are so involved with our clients' lives and we get to love them and engage with them, but we don't, we sort of go in with rose-tinted glasses. We're not paying too attention to those huge red flags at the very beginning of a relationship. They're just staring you right in the face and you somehow are just like, la-di-da, you know? Um, some of them are like, if a client keeps you on the phone for hours or doesn't return your emails, or there are unexpected stakeholders that come to meetings that you didn't expect. Every red flag you see, you adjust your scope of work and I have this kind of rule of thumb. For every red flag, you raise your fee by 10%. It's a good rule uh, of thumb. <laughs> like every red flag, just count them and then increase your fee accordingly. And honestly, everybody's red flags are different. And so you might be really patient with some things and impatient with others. So my perfect example of this, as you can tell, I speak really fast um, and I'm right to the point. And I, my red flag for clients for me is when people speak really slowly and never get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, those clients drive me crazy and I usually charge them more <laughs> because I just don't have the patience and I don't have the time to spend hours on the phone when they could have told me something in 10 minutes. That's my red flag. You might be fine with those kinds of people, right? So we all have different things that drive us crazy, but there are some common ones. And the common ones are a lot of stakeholders is definitely one of them or somebody that is not a main decision maker. Mm. Right? So every, I just want, I want clients to be more designers, to be more aware of that before they start the relationships, because you can detect all that stuff and protect yourself by the scope of work and by your fees. And this is my favorite one. And I always end with this. Mm. We should learn to say no more often. I think the, the minute we say no, it feels so good. Like, have you ever fired a client? I'm sure you have. Yes. I absolutely love trying. I, I have a rule of thumb, which is you should fire one client a year. Ooh. It feels so good. <laughs> You're sick and twisted. Oh my gosh. I only fire clients that suck. I am. <laughs> and if I'm doing my job with position, really? <laughs> then, then I don't get too many of them. Yeah. But I just like, we, we need to like, if you, there's this magic word, where we just say no yeah. and just say no like that. Just no. People will be like, whoa, okay, what is it? And then you can explain it. A lot of times we formulate our no by like, no, sorry, or, or no, because of this. First start with just no, then breathe and then explain. It has a lot of power and it's not a bad word. It really isn't. Sometimes clients just need to hear that. Obviously, there's no perfect answer. There's going to be asshole clients. And those are the clients we say no to. All right. Let's say you and I are working together and I've hired you for a project before and it went great and I paid you and everything's awesome. Second projects come in and then you don't like me anymore. You want to fire me. Emily, can you fire me, please? First of all, you should have warned them a little bit. The best way to do it is to say, you know what? I think we've outgrown each other. I might be too expensive for you, for you and I think you might want to move on to somebody else and here's somebody else you should move on to. What if or, I can pay you more? Is that if what? you can pay you and they're being a misbehaving client, you can say, you know, I want to finish this project, but I think after this, I think our relationship's sort of at its end because I just don't kind of work with clients that misbehave like this. Or you might just say, this is the point of the communicating. They should already know they're misbehaving. If you are all surprising them with this, I don't recommend you do this. You really need to communicate throughout this. And so the end of it would might be if they come back, I would not fire them after you've delivered something. Typically I wait till they come back to you and you can say, you know, actually you could, this is going back to the honesty thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a little caveat to that. You might want to say, I'm just too busy. The challenge with that is then they will think you're too busy and tell everybody else. I'd rather you be honest and say, you know what? I originally love working with you, but our relationship has sort of deteriorated in terms of this, these three, three things have happened. And I just don't feel comfortable that I'm the best firm for, for you, for the kind of uh, project or the kind of relationship you need. I like that. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you too. You guys can rewind, but yes. Can you say it one more time? I want to listen. Real, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have to say. I loved working with you initially, or, you know, initially the relationship seemed really great, but as you know, from my, how I've communicated, there's some problems that have happened over the course of the relationship. 
that was making it very frustrating to work and I don't know if I'm the right fit for you at this point and you might be better served by another firm that can, can handle that kind of behavior or is more used to that or something like that. I think you just have to call them on their behavior, say you're not the right firm and recommend that they move on. Um, honestly, it's just being, you know, more like I tell people why you're moving on. I try not to use excuses, but I'm too busy or I typically like to say I'm too expensive, even if you're not. <laughs> because if they pay you, let's say, I don't know, whatever, crazy amount of money. Let's say they give you $200,000 for a logo and they're still an asshole client. Maybe they'll give you 300,000 and then maybe it's worth working with them. So sometimes you get more money from those clients that you try to hire. And sometimes clients come back. So I had a client that was an alcoholic um, and I had to call him on it. And I, the way I said it was, I think alcohol is a big influence on your culture. Wow, that's <laughs> a nice way to say that. Like, yeah, and I said, when, you're, when that's not such an influencer, I would love to work with you again. And he came back two years later and said, hey, you know, what you said to me was so mean. And I was so angry, but it made it was a sort of like in my brain, and eventually made me go to Al Alcoholics Anonymous. And two years later, it came and worked with me. And I've seen my work clients. Out? Yeah, it was great. Oh wow! For a really long time. Look at you, Miss um, Tough Love. He was. I mean, it was really weird. He had his project manager was his ex bartender. <laughs> they had happy hour wow. at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. So alcohol was like a huge driver in the culture. I just. So okay. yeah, I've done that. I've used my own tools for my clients. I want to take a brief moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Vexels. Vexels is the design platform where designers can find everything they need to boost their creative projects. Download from their library of over 90,000 professionally made graphics compatible with all major designer software. They have an amazing team of talented illustrators and designers constantly uploading new content to their site so you'll have access to fresh content daily. It doesn't matter if you're pro designer or if you're just getting started with your creative career, you'll find everything you need on their site. They offer tons of easy to edit business and branding templates for Illustrator and Photoshop mockups to showcase your designs professionally so you can create logos, posters, and more in a flash. For the more advanced designers, their graphic resources are the perfect digital asset for your new creations. They've got everything from backgrounds, patterns, characters, icons, and more. And if you can't find something on their site, you can always request custom designs and their team of designers will create it for you to download. Save 35% on their subscription by using our link down below.